You must have probably heard about Elon Musk proudly discussing his idea of an electric plane, and maybe wondering what the plane will look like. The Tesla CEO first mentioned the idea in an interview back in September 2018. His vision of Tesla entering the aircraft industry presented itself as a virtual takeoff and landing VTOL vehicle capable of flying at supersonic speeds at high altitudes. While there have only been snippets of information here and there, and no actual manufacturing plans for the Tesla plane, we've gathered sufficient information about the hypothetical aircraft that we'll be sharing with you in this video. As mentioned before, the plane will be a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that can float into air, virtually eliminating the need for a runway takeoff. The Tesla plane will not be the first of its kind, as there are other companies dedicated to making VTOL aircrafts. One major advantage of VTOL is its low overall cost of operations. Added to their reduced cost, they are flexible and more manoeuvrable than the regular aircraft. Elon Musk's plan of making the plane VTOL is a well thought out decision that will help the plane function effectively and save cost. About 250 companies, including innovators, have been studying the assurance and the challenges of electric VTOL. Nearly two dozen companies have made a name by flying full scale and large scale multi passenger electric VTOL aircraft. The electric VTOL aircraft market is broadening, and we could soon witness significant changes to the aviation industry. Many EVTOL aircrafts typically look like large drones, due to several characteristics, including the amount of fans and shape. Their regular sizes look fit for just four people, however Elon Musk's plan of an electric jet should change that, considering that he wants an air taxi. The zero-emission plane will be much more like the supersonic jet, as Musk said on Twitter, replying to a post on the last flight of the Concorde. He wrote, there should be a new supersonic jet, this time electric. The Concorde itself solved the problem of fast travel, however other issues of cost and noise pollution crashed it. The typical Concorde journey could convey people from New York to London in three and a half hours, but to the detriment of people, blasted sonic waves that are dangerous. Tesla's electric plane will not release any emission whatsoever and will be completely electric and efficient. The design of the plane might take the shape of the regular plane with a pointed tip, however Tesla's plane might come with reduced wings to allow for easy manoeuvring. Electric VTOL aircraft usually have no exhaust outlets and do not make noise. They have specific electronic controllers in charge of different motor operations and the general vehicle management. Having enough seats to house passengers, a large percentage of the aircraft by weight will be made up of high-capacity batteries and the control surfaces will be limited and structured. A good number of EVTOLs have maintained a balanced aircraft altitude control by gimbling the electric fan, but Tesla itself has not mentioned what it intends to do to control aircraft altitude, and there is very much sense to reformed flaps and propellers. The aircraft might be significantly lightweight, with the batteries creating room for other compartments. The batteries that are the main components of the electric aircraft are the only rocks in the way of Tesla. The required battery for the plane needs an energy density of more than 400 WH per kilogram, and the most powerful batteries today only generate approximately 260 WH per kilogram. The Panasonic 2170 batteries are currently used in Model 3 Teslas and go for a standard range of 354 kilometers. Tesla has plans of producing 400 WH per kilogram batteries in four years, and the company affirmatively has the capabilities to increase their battery capacity at such incredible speed. Musk tweeted, batteries of 400 WH per kilogram with high cycle life produced in volume are not that far. The 400 WH per kilogram battery was originally intended for expanding Tesla's driving range. Later on, it happened that it could also generate enough lift and launch an electric airplane. High energy density can increase the range of electric vehicles, and even go a long way in enabling electric urban aviation. The Tesla CEO once confirmed that there are batteries in limited production, and these batteries exceed 400 WH per kilogram. Whether they intend to use these batteries for the aircraft or electric vehicles, we can all agree that the company is making significant progress with its battery production, to the point of producing one that can power a decent and medium range aircraft. The idea of a high-speed VTOL jet sounds very attractive, but nobody can confidently tell when Tesla will be ready to go into the aviation industry. Until then, the company is focused on producing battery-efficient and zero-emissions electric cars. A study by the Environmental and Energy Study Institute revealed that the entire transport sector made for 21% of total emissions, and road transport accounts for 15% of total carbon dioxide emissions. Aviation accounts for just 11% of transport emissions and emits a little below a billion tonnes of CO2 per year. Thanks for your time and attention. We hope you've been able to learn a thing or two about the Tesla plane. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. Until next time.